Good morning. I noticed you had quite a bit of a snooze there. You, uh, your eyes were crusted up like the shores, so I thought I'd bring you aboard and make sure you didn't get a burn or, uh, let the sun cook you, as we say up on the mizzen mast. Uh, <laughs> so, now that I've saved you from the sunburn, I thought maybe you could pay me in a doubloon, sir. Doubloons, gold, jewelry, uh, what else? I'll take your clothes, I'll take credit card, no debit. I'll take Chase, MasterCard, Chase Freedom, all about the freedom. Now, uh, if you'll notice, uh, looking up there, that is the, uh, the old Jolly Roger, so that request isn't so much a request as it is a, um, a demand for your ransom. Uh, if it helps, uh, it's not a very low ransom, which means they're valuable. You're a very valuable young person, and that's always good to be valued in this society. It's always hard to find your value, but yours happens to be many doubloons. Many, many doubloons. Or gold, or jewelry, or clothes. Or your head. Uh, it's not a threat. I just collect them. So, uh, if you could take all your doubloons, your jewelry, your gold, your diamonds, your rubies, anything really, um, I would love to take those off your hands. I have, I have a chest, a pirate's chest, but, uh, I can't quite have you fill it, because at the moment, it's filled, overflowing, to be precise, because uh, when I went out to buy a chest, I thought to myself, what I want is a pirate's chest. So I was at the store, and I found myself a good chest, a good, good solid chest, and I thought to myself, What's a pirate chest always doing? It's always overflowing. So I bought all their other wares, and I filled the chest. And now I have a chest I can't use, because it's full. So I thought to myself, I'll go back to the haberdashery, and I'll get myself another chest. And then we ran into the same problem. And then I had another chest. And we repeated this problem many times. And now I have seven chests. And they're all full. They're full to the brim with hats. As this was the main thing being sold at the haberdashery. And now I have seven chests that I can't use. And many, many hats. You'll notice I'm not wearing a hat. And that's because if I took any of the hats out, they would no longer be overflowing. And I would no longer have a pirate's chest. So, I have seven chests I can't use, and many, many hats that I can't wear, and no gold, as I keep kidnapping people, and then requesting a ransom and have nothing to carry the ransom in. I do have two pockets full of gold. I don't know if those are pirate's pockets. I think we're supposed to be more nimble than that. But I figured it would do for now. So, 
Hopefully I don't clank too much when I walk around. Uh, it does make it a little harder to sneak up on people on land, but it doesn't make it any harder to escape naval ships. You just sort of steer the other way or kill them. Really, either way. So what I was saying is, I need doubloons. And I have all these chests. And I need your doubloons in the chests. But I can't take any of the hats out. If you have a solution, please let me know. Until that time, I suppose, like all of the other people that I have kidnapped, and then ransomed, and then was then able to collect the ransom of, you will just be staying here a while, with your crusty eyes and all. If that's alright. Has to be alright. We're in the middle of the Indian Ocean, and I lost my compass. I lost it trading with a dolphin. They're tricky creatures. So, now we're mostly adrift, and uh, I'm sure you'll like it here. There are lots of people that have yet to pay their ransom. You might get along pretty well, swimmingly in fact. I'd wink, but uh, you know, the pirate problem. So, what do you like to do? You like to play sea-related games? You know, the, the kinds where you sort of look out into the ocean and see if you can count like all the letters of the alphabet by the license plates. It's a really long game. I've never gotten past A. My friend once got to C, I don't know how. But that's how it goes. So uh we could play that. In case you see any license plates. That would be dandy. I don't, so maybe we can go back to this whole chest doubloon problem. I think if we fill one of the hats with doubloons, then we can roll it over real fast, like, and then the doubloons will be in the chest already. And if it's filled all the way to the brim, then we can pull the hat off, and we will still have an overflowing chest. And if we repeat this for all of the hats, then we will have a full chest. But the problem is, I'm not sure it'll be overflowing, because the hats, due to their brim-like nature, take up slightly more room than the coins would in their small, sand-like nature. They're a bit like the sea, that one. A cruel mistress. So, if we do this with each of the hats, then we will eventually have a full chest, but not a pirate's chest. In which case, perhaps, we could leave some of the hats in to pad out the space and make it into a pirate's chest. However, I do see one problem in that I'm not sure how many doubloons you have, because there are no camels behind you carrying doubloons, nor are there chests behind you carrying doubloons. Nor did you jingle when I carried you onto the ship. 
so it would seem we have no doubloons. But, I believe this process will work nearly as well with jewelry, your clothes, or your head. The credit card, I don't think will work. We can think about it later, but I just don't think it will work. So, we've run into the root of the problem, which is the mass of the objects at hand. Now I believe that with a little determination and maybe a couple of your legs, we can pad out this whole chest. I'm thinking though, seeing as we've been talking for a full ten minutes or so, that ye seem to be mighty fine company, and your ransom might be a little bit higher than a, these guys down below. So, I believe your ransom might be about mm, carrying the seven and multiply by your shoe size, seven chests, a pirate's chess. And if we have seven pirate's chess filled with your things, then I will be able to let you go, likely over the gangplank, seeing as we are adrift. But, uh, so we'll start, I believe we'll start with your jewelry. I see you're not wearing any jewelry, as you were sleeping on the beach. Which is smart. It's not the smartest place to wear jewelry. It's the smartest place not to wear jewelry. Except for on a pirate ship. Otherwise you might get kidnapped by pirates who see your jewelry and think, That's one off ransom. Or, or this will happen. So smart or not, you're kind of screwed. So, uh... Here's what I'm thinking. I'll take all your things. I'll take your clothes. I will take your head. I'll take your arms and your legs. Mm. Head, arms, legs, that's five. Your torso, that's six. Your torso might fill out a chest all on its own. But, uh, your head will definitely need some clothes to pat it out. And then we'll place a hat on top of your head. You know, so it overflows a little bit. And then, maybe I'll chop up some of the fellas down below. And they can pat them out as well. And then we can have a head chest. And each of the heads can have their own hat. If you'd like to pick out a hat, let me know. And then we can have the arms chest, which might be confusing whenever the British come around. They want to attack, and then we all call to arms. And then all we have is your arm. That sounds like a good way to get killed on the sea. So, uh, scratch the arms chest. We might have the arms and the legs chest, which will cut down on the number of people we need. Well, it won't cut down on the heads. See, it's all this tricky, tricky math. So, we'll have the heads chest, which will take a good number of blokes. We'll have the limbs chest. Oh, we could have four limbs chest. Yes, because everybody has four of each limb, and four to the one head, that means for every one head chest we fill up, assuming they're approximately the same mass, or volume, I'm sorry. <sighs> sure hope you're not a professor. The same volume, roughly, then we will have four limbs chests for every 
one head chest. And, seeing as the torso is about two heads, we will have two torso chests for every one head chest. And that means one head chest, four limb chests. Oh, wait. Now we're counting. And two torso chests. That's seven chests. I believe we have found a solution. So, uh, if you'll go ahead and tilt your head back a bit, I'll begin the cutting. And we will be on our way. It's been a pleasure meeting you. And, uh, I hope this goes rather quickly for you. I hope you know you are pleasant company, and that your ransom has been very high. It's a good high ransom for a good high value person. Now, as you came into this land, so will you go out of it. Good night. Hey, so, uh, here's me doing my slightly less bastardized accent. Uh, so I thought I'd let you know that the reason I did this particular video is because of a very lovely person who put together a project where we would all read we meaning me and a number of other ASMRtists would all read the same book. It's an ASMR audiobook and we're all doing a chapter or so. I happen to do two. Don't tell anyone, but mine are 10 and 35. I'm winking. Believe me, please. And so I look like this the whole time. It's very silly, and it's a really charming book, and it's a really fun project. Uh, he's trying to get an ASMRtist from every continent on the globe. Um, as of right now, I don't know whether or not that's happened, but hopefully by the time you're seeing this, it has. And I don't know, it's been one of my favorite projects to work on, and I hope you guys really like it. So, the link slip for that will be either next to me or down below. It'll be down below deck, or on, on the starboard side of me wherever Starbird is. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And if you would like to pay your ransom, I have some ways you can do that. I have Patreon, PayPal, Coffee, and Patreon's an extra fun one because you can join the Discord server and we can talk like mates and it'll be swell. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that'll be really nice. So, I hope you have a good night.